Hi all, Elaine here from MRE Studio Designs and today we're going to try a Mokume Gane stack. I've never tried it before but I'm really looking forward to doing this. So here we're going to start. I have a sheet of translucent rolled out on a number three. I have a purple pearl. I have a sheet of gold mixed with a the gold glitter. This is uh, just white, plain white. This one is the frost white, the uh, bright green pearl, and the uh, peacock pearl. These are all primo, and I guess we're going to get started. I also have some gold leaf I'm going to use. You're going to need your um, Tissue blades, rigid and flexible, your rolling pin, and of course uh, your pasta machine, or you could roll it out by hand. So the first thing I need to do is to cut these into some squares. So if you give me a minute, I will be right back. Okay, and we're back, and I've got all my pieces cut out. Uh, get this all in here. And we're going to start stacking them. Okay, so I think I am going to start with a translucent on the bottom. And with the green. And you could do these in any order. There's no rhyme or reason to this. I think the gold. Another translucent. I'm going to put some gold leaf on that one. Frost glitter white, turquoise, or peacock blue, purple. Oops. Another one of the translucent and some more gold leaf. Gold leaf can get away from you if you're not careful. Uh, let's see. The green. Purple. White glitter. And the gold. I think I don't need the white. And we can do the peacock blue. Okay. Now. This is our stack, and we're going to squish it down really good, make sure everything's all stuck together. And we're going to leave that on the side for just a second. I have a little bit of the glitter, the frost glitter left. I have a couple pieces of the translucent and a couple pieces of white. And what I want to do with this is I want to chop them up and mix them. I, I'm not sure what I'm going to do yet, but I think I know what I want to do. So just bear with me. We'll see how this works out. all back together again. And 
leave this on the side for now. Okay, back to our stack here. Let me clean off my desk first. Roll this down a little bit. I'm going to try to get it a little longer so we can cut it in half and stack it again. bubble there. There we go. Don't need any air bubbles. Okay. So we're going to cut this in half. Stack them again. Like that. Get them all lined up again. And maybe we'll stack them one more time. I'm sure you've seen a lot of these tutorials, but again, this is the first time I'm doing this, so we'll see how it comes out. Okay, and we'll cut this in half again. Put them together. Okay. I think that's lines are fine enough for me. So I'm just going to form this into some kind of a semblance of a square. Now we're going to take a couple of ball tools and we're going to poke some holes in it all the way down. Maybe take my cutter. it all back together again. And the more you manipulate, manipulate it, the more variation of lines you're going to have in there. Okay. 
That's what they tell me anyway. Okay, back into a square again. You can already see how the lines are distorted. piece of paper to put my slices on. This is the moment of truth here. Let's see how we did. You want to you want to have a clean blade so it doesn't get caught on anything. Clean my blade off. Make sure that's stuck down to the desk really good. And let's see what we got. That came out nice. I like that. Can you see that? Oops. See if we can't get a large slice out of this. Oops, of course not. I can't. I'm terrible with the knife. Okay, we'll save that one. Yeah. Probably would help if I put my glasses on. I always forget to put them on. I like the way the gold is coming through on that. Pretty nice slice. You see it looks different on the back than it does on the front. Whichever one you want to consider the front. Just pick out the side you like best. Okay, I'm going to continue slicing these and I will be back. Okay, and we're back. And I've rolled out a piece of the translucent on a number two on my pasta machine. And we're going to place some of these slices on here and make a pendant out of it. So we just have to decide which pieces we want. So I think I like that one. This one. Uh, I like the one with the gold in it. Actually, that probably will be enough for our pendant. So we're going to put these on the side. We're not done with them yet. And we're going to roll this out, make it nice and flat. And take another piece of paper so we can burnish it. Nice and flat. Okay, 
maybe just a little bit more. So let's see what we're going to do with that one. Okay, so this is a new cutter I got from uh, the Creative Dork again. I'm really liking their, their cutters. They're very sharp. They come out really nice. So I think I'm going to do that. I'm not going to have enough for the earrings. I'm going to have to add some more. Okay, so I I think we'll add that piece right there. And this piece right here. There we go. Now we'll have enough to get everything. So let's burnish that down. The nice thing about this, you don't have enough, just add more. There we go. All nice and good. And I think I want this one over here. And that gives me one, two, correct, okay. So let's cut this out. Clean up the edges a little bit. Anytime you clean the edges first so you don't have to sand later is always a plus. So I'll put that down there. And let's get the earrings up. Okay, so we're going to put those in the oven for 30 minutes at 275, and we'll be right back. Okay, we're back. Now, you remember that piece that I did, I mixed the uh, frost white glitter, the, the translucent, and a little bit of the white all together? That's this piece right here, and... What I want to do is, I think I'm going to, first of all, I'm going to chop it up a little bit more. And 
put it back together. I'm going to roll this out on my pasta machine, I think on a number two. There we go. Because what I would like to do with this is I would like to take some of these little ragged pieces and lay them on the side here. Just like that. And roll that down a bit. And garnish it. good. And I think I want to do a pendant and earrings out of this where it's white on the top or white with the, the glitter, um, frost glitter, the white, and the uh, translucent. And I'd love to see how that comes out. So let's get a, some cutters. I think we're going to, because it's such a busy pattern, I think we're going to keep this rather simple. Here we have, do I want it? I think it's still too thick. I'm going to just bring that down a little bit. know if I want it. Oh, yeah. Right like that. And I have that one. There we go. I thought that might look good. Oh yeah. So we're gonna put those in the oven with the other ones and we're gonna bake everything at for 30 minutes at 275 and then we will be back. Okay, we're back. We have a couple of earrings that we've made. I put a little bit of gold uh, paint on the edges of the earrings and of the pendant. I just thought it looked a little nicer. So that's the one set that we made. The other set is this one with the earrings and the pendant. That's very spring looking and boy am I ready for spring, let me tell you. And besides those pieces, I also made a couple of cabochons, one in a heart shape, one a teardrop out of the same batch that we had. And I also did a mold of a cross for Easter. So that's very interesting. Not everybody's taste, but I liked it. And as you could see, 
I still have a lot left over, so I can do a lot more with this. So that is our tutorial for today. Oh, by the way, I also wanted to say, um, the scraps that I had left over, like these with the, with the uh, translucent on the back and the one with the white on the back, I just chopped all of those up and threw a, a gold leaf in with it and condensed it down to this um, square here, this cube. And when I sliced it, this is what I came out with. So that would make some nice cabochons or pendants or whatever you want to do with it. So don't throw anything away. You can always use it. Just chop it up, put some more stuff in it or leave it plain or twist it or whatever you want to do, but don't throw anything away. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this, and I will catch you next time. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. See you later.